So hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while, and you guys may or may not like it. I, you know, Originally, this channel was dedicated to gaming and stuff like that. But, but, for a change, I wanted to talk about a game. Uh, something I just completed. It took me about five hours. I started it yesterday. Uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I finished it as soon as I got home from training. So... I posted a video, a short, uh, probably yesterday, maybe, and it was a game called Stray. Now, Stray was on my radar a couple of years ago, actually, when it came out, because it's about cats. It's about a cat in general, like a cat, but there are some cats. And anybody that knows me knows that I have a deep love for cats. Uh, I love them. I, I'm, I'm the, I'm the crazy cat lady. Yeah, I'm the crazy cat lady. <laughs> but anyways, I've been playing this game. I've been playing this game, and um, I, I've been looking forward to it for a long time. And it finally came out. Um, if you have PlayStation Plus, uh, that is available for you to actually play. It's a part of the subscription. And I highly recommend this game. Now, going into it, I was I didn't really know what to expect. Um it's kind of a open, kind of open, a little bit open. It's got open areas, like an open world. Um, and it is fairly linear as well, if that makes sense. It's it's not quite open, but it does have open areas where you do take on tasks and stuff like that. Quest lines for, you know, these robots, basically. These robot-human hybrid things. Um, the story is pretty personal, actually. Um, way more personal than I expected. Um, especially about a game where you're literally a cat. Um, this cat doesn't talk. It's nothing special about the cat. It's just a cat. And this is the best game you'll ever play about a cat. <laughs> I, in my opinion, uh, I, I really loved it. The controls were fine. Uh, fairly short. Uh, it didn't overstay its welcome. Uh, the graphics were great. Um, some of the things you could that was the cat <laughs> breaking something probably anyways <laughs> just as i start talking about the cat but anyways yeah i i really enjoyed it a whole lot uh more than i thought i was going to um you know i've seen some reviews saying it was kind of middling um you know it wasn't quite what they expected and I didn't know what to expect. I the game has been on my radar for a long time, but I never really looked much into it. Um, I've been approaching games lately, like as, hey, I'm going to go into this, not look too much into it, unless I'm super super interested and I just can't get enough of it. Um, which most games these days, I, I'm, I'm not like that. Uh, I want to go in fresh and you know not have any expectations. And I went in. I had the expectation that, um, you know, this could be middling. This could be a bad game. Um, and it's not. It's not. Um, if you're looking for some kind of action, uh, role-playing, something like that, this is not the game for you. This is a slow, slow tell. Um, you sit there. You can probably beat it uh, within the afternoon. I think, like I said, four or five hours is all it takes to go through it. Uh, I think right now it's on PC and PlayStation currently. I don't know if it's made it to the Xbox or if it will come to the Xbox. But as of right now, I played it on the PlayStation 5. Uh, there are two versions to download. If you have a PS5, you have the PS5 and the PS4 version. Um, and it runs great. Uh, no technical hiccups. Uh, no, I didn't notice very many frame rate drops, if any. Um it's a beautiful game, too. I mean, it's not the best-looking game in the world, but the art style alone and just some of the details in the game uh, look really good. The cat looks really good. Um, and if you're wondering if it makes you feel like a cat, then, yeah, it makes you feel like a cat. It's got a dedicated meow button. You just press it any time during the game. It starts meowing. You can do cat things like scratch post and sleep and drink water and whatever cats do it's 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 literally a game about a cat but it's it's a deep game it's kind of deep if you put you know, kind of open yourself up a little bit 
and pay attention to the surroundings. A lot of the storytelling is within the environment, uh, which is really cool. I, I do love games with environmental storytelling, uh, and this game actually does this really, really well. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil the game, I'm, and I'm not, and I want you guys, if you are interested in it, uh, definitely download it, play through it, and let me know what you think. But as for a game about a cat, Stray is probably the best game ever made about being a cat. Unless you're talking about cat lateral damage, which that's a totally different game. Um, yeah, so I mean, for the most part, going into the game, uh, if you've seen the video that I posted, even the cat, like the cat game, which was pretty funny because, you know, you've seen the cat touching the TV as I'm pressing the meow button, um, and yeah, I mean, the cat loves it, so obviously, if the cats love it and I love it, then you're going to love it. Uh, it's, it's not bad, and I, you know, I can sing its praises all day. Uh, this is probably one of the best games I've played this year, in my opinion. Now, like I said, I haven't played a lot of games. Um, Elder, Elder, fuck, Elden Ring was you know, took my time the most this year. I haven't really sat down and played a game since probably Elden Ring and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that just came out recently. Fairly short games. Um, but that's kind of what I needed. I needed a palate cleanser from Elden Ring. Elden Ring took so much time. I think I ended at 110 hours. I, I've not put that much time into the game in a long time. Um, you know, I usually, I'm playing through games left and right. Left and right. It's play it started it's over then Elden Ring just took over my entire life uh you know I, was, I wasn't I wasn't 100 percent sure how long Stray was going to be um and like I said it doesn't overstay its welcome um you you know you could probably you know play through it once put in four or five hours and speed through it again maybe three hours give or take um it's it's just one of those games that you know, you're there to kind of chill. I mean, there are some parts with the stealth elements, which was kind of cool. Um, I mean, they wasn't the best things in the world. Like, a, a lot of the things that happened in Stray, uh, I wouldn't technically say they're the best systems uh, you can imagine playing in a game in 2022. But they work for what they're for. Um, the game comes out and does exactly what it's supposed to do supposed to be and it's supposed to be a cat simulator that happens to have a deep wally-esque story um and the reason why i'm bringing up wally you'll understand when you start uh playing through the game there's not real really much in terms of dialogue outside of you know there's text it's all text-based i mean you, you're reading on the screen there's no actually vo voice actors or anything um and you know the cat like i said it doesn't talk uh, you just listen. Uh, at the end of the game, though, I, I mean, I thought it was really good. Like, it was pretty deep, like, at the end. Uh, you know, I, I would love to see another one eventually, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know how they would do another one. I think it's probably one of those games that's kind of a one-off thing. You enjoy it, and there you go. Put it down. Maybe come to it back, you know, some other time if you want to just chill out uh, with your girlfriend or something like that. But... Yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. It was very fun, um, very rewarding, uh, especially if you love cats. And you know, I'm gonna stop with the praises here because I'm running in circles. But if you guys are looking for a game, you have a PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five, or PC, uh, pick up Stray. Um, I'm I'm not sure how much it is currently. I think it's thirty bucks. Uh, if you have PlayStation Plus, it's free um, as part of your subscription. So, I mean, it, if, if you don't want to buy it, uh, definitely use your PlayStation Plus subscription to do that. Uh, but, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.